Well, tonight, police are looking for answers after at least four Madison school buses were shot by a BB gun. Thankfully, no one was seriously hurt, but the whole thing has students and parents pretty shaken up. News 8's Bob Wilson has that story tonight from Madison. Well, right now, the school buses are here at the bus yard under lock and key as that investigation moves forward. Everyone wants to know who did it, where they were standing, and why. This shattered window, a reported photo sent in by a student on the bus in Madison, shows the damage done by a BB gun. That's crazy. Like, I've never... I've never witnessed that before, but that's like so bizarre. The calls came in just after Hand High School was letting out for the day. First, it was one bus, the shattered window, the shards injuring two students. Then a second, a third, then a fourth calling in strikes. None of the passengers were seriously injured, but it has left students and parents rattled. It's scary that someone just shoot random BBs at like a bus. Right now, the school superintendent says the count of buses stands at four with two students injured, though not seriously. But that could change because as the buses are coming in off the streets, they're checking them for pockmarks or any indication that they were struck with BBs. And right now, police are out there canvassing the neighborhood, and they're going to be talking to students on the bus to see if maybe while they were looking out, they saw where the shots were coming from. If you remember back, we've had to put uh, fences over overpasses because back in the 60s, people were dropping rocks on cars and killing people. No, there's no shortage of stupidity and lack of judgment in the population. It just comes out. Right now, the buses have been locked up as the detectives continue to investigate. Police say they don't know if someone was standing in the woods or shooting from a moving vehicle, but they're taking it very seriously. I don't care if it's a rock. If you're throwing at a bus, you know that they have safety glass in the windows. The glass is going to shatter and it's going to be going to the eyes or into the into the students. It's just totally unacceptable. Now, the police say this is pretty serious. They're not sure exactly what the charges could be, but there could be jail time involved. We're in Madison. Bob Wilson, News 8.